coach, first of all, congratulations <laughs> for your first three, three points in uh, eight of the rest. Uh, how are you feeling? What helps you to get these three points technically? Indifferent. It's um, just that um, I think arguably not because of the results. This is um, the first game I saw my players try to keep the concept which I've been trying to, like, to talk about, you know. Let us try to keep the ball in play. And they too um, have come to realize that um, it is always um, better when you try to purposefully keep the ball to play. Yeah. Some people may say that it's finished for Etoile. They have already relegated in the second division, but it's not over yet. Uh, what do you think uh, for you on your side? You think that uh, it, it, it's finished or you see some uh, chances to maintain your place in the first division? I, I just want to work with HL the last, you know, the purpose of me coming to Rwanda was for me to come and experience what football is like here. You know, I came to meet a team that um, has a foundation that is um, difficult. So, you know, changing the mentality, the orientation. And um, I'll just say this, no matter how the, the, the chickens are also dead, but it, it takes uh, some bit of time for the eagle to want to teach them how to fly. So it's always um, difficult. They can leave the ground sometimes, but to sustain um, flight, it's always a challenge. The 12 less is here, eight games to go, have a lot of problems. You can see that we had 18 players today. Okay. So we will keep pushing and um, try to do our utmost best. This result, I think the only good thing about this result is that the players will get to believe what I talk about. Sure. Let us try to keep the ball to play. Okay. The pressures are going to come. We were able to sustain pressure in the second half for, for 20 minutes. And Coach. I told them it was going to die down, it died down. Coach, the fact that the, your team is in the, in the relegation zone, uh, if you look at your players and the, your bosses, uh, I think uh, the problem is in your players or there is other challenges behind uh, the, the, the capacity of your players? Let us first talk about, I talked about foundation here. It told you let's gain promotion from the lower league to the premiership. And when they gained promotion, they, they dropped all their players and retained just about three or four of them. So you can see that uh, foundation is even a problem. You know, and I think um, that is a challenge. Like I said, you know, to me it's, it's an experience for me in Rwanda. I wanted to get to see. I've been pro uh, privileged to coach national teams, I play against other teams, club sides playing the continental, sure. but I haven't had this experience, so I'm experiencing East African football, and to me it's an exciting experience for me, whichever way. Apart from that experience, what about uh, teams uh, focus, teams focus, teams uh, objectives? Well, I, like I said, you know, I, I cannot, I cannot um, import players, I cannot um, get new players, I just have to work with um, the players I have. And, you know, sometimes to change players' mentality, change players from the philosophy that uh, they've been used to and all, it's a bit of a challenge. But eight games to go, 24 points, we want to play for every one of them. We'll be here on uh, Tuesday for another very, very difficult game. Okay. And it's, it's for us to come and enjoy the game, play our football and see how it goes. Okay, of course. You've been observing the game, you've, you've been observing the players in the game. What is your next uh, plan? in the next match? Like I said, Tuesday we play against uh, APR. APR. Would you have some changes? <laughs> when that time comes, if I tell you I'm going to change the whole of um, the, the the 11 players that played for me today, it doesn't make a difference. So if you see a new team, you say this coach is a liar. So <laughs> let's wait and see Tuesday. Huh? Right. Every game has a different approach. Every game has a different mentality. Right. I'll go. Fortunately, they are playing this evening. I'll be able to see. I've seen a lot of the things that they do. I give. I think they are the biggest team in uh, Rwanda. So it's an exciting opportunity for my players to be able to play. I played against uh, um, Real Sports, which is another exciting team. You know, to me, of all the teams I've played in Rwanda, I think they are the most tactical team. Okay. You know, and um, I will get to play against APR too, and I'll make my own uh, conclusion about. It. Most likely. <laughs> Like I said, 24 points to play for, and we'll try to play for every of those points. 
you know, if it if it comes out way beautiful, if it doesn't, then we'll continue to fight. Thank you. Thanks, coach. All the best.